Hey guys, here we go with another exciting video. Well, I don't know about exciting, but it's a video. Um, this product here, if you don't know about it, it could be exciting because these are unbelievable headphones. This model here is the Kos KPH 30IK. Uh, they are about a hundred bucks, ninety to a hundred Aussie dollars. We're talking, um, and here's a pair here that I had for a couple of years. And I guess the one downside to these things is the wire that goes to the device is wired in, hardwired. So I was out in the backyard doing some gardening. I had these on and um, I thought I got a glimpse of a spider out of the side of my eye and I started flailing my arms around uh, and squealing like a girl and the wire snapped here. There's really no way to repair this. I don't know, unless you some Einstein that can get this apart and solder it and Basically, they're disposable. Um, but to look at them, you, you would not believe the sound quality um, these things have. They're just astounding, really, for the size of them and the price you're paying. I think these are 90 bucks, um, And that's, that's the same pair there, just in a different color and brand new. In America, I'm pretty sure you can get these in a transparent plastic which I would like to get but I've never seen them here in Oz so that's one pair you really want to look out for if you're looking to get a cheap pair of headphones that will um, that will really surprise you the sound quality will blow you away this is the second pair these ones here are called Porta Pro there's about four different models of these and they range from about 70 bucks up to about 130 depending on different um, features they've got uh, I don't remember how much these ones cost but it doesn't matter I should point out too that these uh, foam ear pads did not come with the Porta Pro it came with a, a, a smaller thinner um, black sponge thingy and I bought these I can't remember the name of the brand of them they're Japanese but it would be easy for you to search that up I would imagine uh, and they're a little bit more comfortable and I, I didn't really notice any huge difference to the sound but some people say they hear a difference uh, another thing to note is that these I've put a little bit of tape here and a little bit of glue under the thingies here only because I'm the only one that wears these and they would sort of self-adjust um, and you'd be fiddling with them to get them to the right fit all the time so I've done that uh, other people complain about the the wire frame here catching on their hair and, and sort of pulling or pinching at their hair uh, I don't have to concern myself with that um, obviously because I shave my head and as I said, there's different models, so from 70 Aussie dollars up to 130, and then here's the Bluetooth model uh, if you want wireless. Uh, again, I bought the sponge thingies and put the blue ones on here. I think I bought a pack of them for like 80 dollars or something, and it had four or five different colors: uh, yellow, blue, orange, and red. If my memory serves me well um, but again unbelievable because they are so small uh, just really underwhelming to look at and yet when you use these you will be absolutely blown away with the sound quality um, and as long as you don't accidentally tug on these or do something silly like I did um, they should last you a long long time been around for for many many years I can't remember how long but it's a long long time that they're, they're certainly not new on the market 
and they are well worth buying. I can't recommend them highly enough. All right, that's about it. I love you guys, and take care. Bye-bye.